welcome to the next expert talk from Cloud DNA. Again, working with SAP Business Technology Platform Security or in the security area. And in this uh, expert talk, we are going to show you how the SAP Identity Authentication Service can be used as a proxy to authenticate users against an on-premise Active Directory, a so-called corporate identity provider. All the information I've shown you in this expert talk now can also be found in our book uh, published by SAP Press with the title SAP Business Technology Platform Security and Authorizations. Yeah, yeah. You will now see how the IAS can be used uh, in proxy mode to authenticate against so-called corporate identity providers. So we have corporate IDPs. Uh, there is a difference between the Neo and the Cloud Foundry environment, but basically uh, what you might know is uh, Microsoft Active Directory. And Microsoft Active Directory is an LDAP server that you have here. So we have the, the Active Directory. And this is usually, of course, running in the on-premise world. There is a cloud counterpart called Asia Active Directory, but we will just cover the Active Directory itself. On the other hand, you have the Identity Authentication Service. So you have the IAS here, SAP. Identity Authentication Service. You get a, an instance of this, which is called the Identity Authentication Tenant, and this is provided to you by SAP. So whenever you get a cloud license, you will get an, or purchase a cloud license, you will get an IAS. And as you might know from the other uh, expert talks, this is basically doing the user authentication. So the authentication is done here, and it acts as a summer SAML Identity Provider, IDP. But it cannot store the users just inside the IAS itself. It can also delegate the authentication to the Active Directory. And therefore, a man in the middle, a software in the middle is, is needed. And this is uh, done using the, the sub-account. So I'm going to draw this here, the sub-account, because we need some additional components here. But this is also in the cloud, so we have the BTP sub-account, business technology platform sub-account. Okay, we have the sub-account here. And this is uh, talking via the sub-account with the Active Directory. So we have the sub-account here, but we cannot call it directly from the sub-account. We need the cloud connector as additional component here in the on-premise landscape. So here, we also have the SAP Cloud Connector that is used then, or that's opening a TLS tunnel. So the Cloud Connector opens a tunnel here. So we have this TLS tunnel that is opened here. And the connection is then going via the sub-account to this TLS tunnel and authenticating the users. And what's happening in the applications is if you would like to authenticate, you have a form where you can add or enter your user and your password. And the user and the password is taken from the identity authentication service and just proxied or transported through the BTP sub-account and the cloud connector to the Active Directory. So here we have a connection also, and the authentication of the users is done here. And also the group assignment in the Active Directory is then returned back to the IAS and then back, of course, to the application. And this can be any application in the business technology platform that uses this. There is a difference between BTP and NEO sub-accounts because with, with NEO sub-accounts, you cannot just call an Active Directory. With NEO, you can also call uh, the uh, SAP application server Java uh, with the UME behind. But we will focus on the Active Directory because this is the use case that we typically see in, in projects and in the real world. Yeah, and that's an, an other advanced feature of the Identity Authentication Service that you can use in your landscape to make the authentication even more 
easier and uh, use com common technologies that you are uh, familiar with, like the Active Directory. And you don't have to reinvent any everything, everything or anything. You have everything already in place here and you can just reuse it. And the configuration here is just a few clicks and, and that's it more or less.